Hello there, and Trats. Magua here, and I got an actual MTG video for you guys today. I know it's been four or five days, which is much more in YouTube days because we all know that uh, time does flow a little bit quicker in YouTube because reasons. And yeah, I'm back at it though. I did say, uh, like I said a few days back, that I was taking a break from Magic the Gathering, but that break was short lived as I still wanted to participate in the Mythic Championship Qualifier. I didn't quite prepare nearly as much as I have for Magic tournaments in the past. I just decided for once, instead of trying to read the metagame so much and uh, try to guess what people are playing and counter them or try to devise a deck that's a little bit off meta but that can, you know, surprise people. I just wanted to play a deck that I felt really com both like comfortable and confident, competitively speaking, ever since Throne of Eldraine was released. And that is my boy, Fires of Invention, aka Inventional Grixis, which is my favorite competitive deck to date. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take our Lord and Savior, Nico Bolas, onto the Mythic Championship Qualifier, and we'll see how we do. I'm, I'll just have fun with it. I didn't have high expectations, to be honest, and uh, I just wanted to, you know, play a little bit of Nico Bolas and see if I could do some work with him, right? And, uh, yeah, uh, the performance exceeded not only mine, but I think the expectations of a lot of people, especially those who were watching, as uh, we had quite an amazing run, actually. And I am going to be... I got so much good content out of this tournament, it's actually ridiculous, that I'm going to be developing a bit of a series throughout the week. It'll perhaps be a, a couple or maybe maybe even three videos throughout this week in which I showcase my progress through the event itself. For those of you who are wondering, the Mythic Championship Qualifier is uh, a tournament that happens in the empty Arena Client in which the top 16 at the end of said tournament, which takes two days, will qualify for the upcoming mythic championship this happens every time there's uh you know a mythic championship ends and they move the cycle to another one and the way to qualify is to end in the top i believe it was 1200 it used to be top 1000 but they moved it up to 1200 i think I'm not entirely sure of uh the mythic ranked ladder english and uh in last season it turns out we placed number 12 in the rank ladder with uh, Grixis, actually. I did upload a video that is called uh, Top 13 Mythic Rank Grixis. Uh, I actually got bumped up to 12, I think because somebody decayed or lost the game or something. But yeah, I received an email from Wizard saying, hey, you, you placed number 12 in the ladder, so you qualified for the Mythic Championship Qualifier. And uh, I have uh, qualified for two of the three that have happened. I don't know if there's been more. I think it's only been three. Um, there was one season where I, I really didn't uh, try, and this one we just kind of had a good streak, and I just ended, you know, the season uh, at that position, right? And this event takes, like I said, two days. The first day, all the qualified players will go into an event that is incorporated onto Arena, in which you can play up to a total of... 10 games or 10 wins you have a series like it's, it's like any of these events right like for example if you hover over to brawl it's just like this it has a series of wins and it goes up to 10 and then right here you see up to two potential losses so what this means is that in this event you can play uh you have to play until you you lose two games basically and in order to qualify for day two of the event you have to win at least seven games so you have to go at the very least seven and two uh, from that point onwards if you go eight and two nine and two or if you go ten and one or ten and zero then uh, you qualify for day two of said qualifier and it tends to be less than 128 people who manage to reach these scores out of all you know the thousands because it's actually more than 1000 because uh th this takes two seasons into account for the most part so there were a lot of people uh, that qualified for this event, but in day two, only uh, a little bit over 100 make it, right? And uh, I've never made it before, but we did with uh, Grixis right here. I actually managed to go 7-0, and and then I just kind of like, you know, played out the last games, and I was already very relaxed and just kind of like... Uh, I, I got a little bit lazy with it, to be honest. Not trying to make any excuses, but I already made it to the, the mark, so I just kind of like chilled for a bit. And we ended up 7-2, and two, right? We, lo we lost two games right after we, we got 7. So, yeah, today I'm going to be uh, showcasing the last two matches up until that point. Uh, 
of the first day of the event, we face a pro magic player known as uh, Wyatt, Wyatt Darby. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, he's pretty well known in the magic community and uh, he was playing Soul Tai Akko. And then we faced one of the other guys that qualified for day two. His name is Antonino playing some really spicy Rakdos Aristocrats. So those were our last two opponents and I think they were really high quality games. Uh, I was uh, pretty focused on these matches. At first I was just taking it light. But I was, I was always like trying to play my best, but I didn't feel any pressure because I was playing Grixis, right? I wasn't supposed to win. Uh, I was going to be encountering a tremendous amount of Akko decks and we Akko and Nisa, either Simic or Soltai. And that is indeed what the vast majority of the people were playing and also what the vast majority of the decks were in day two out of the ones that qualified. So like I said, during these next few days, I'm going to be sharing my journey because I have uh, some of the best games I've ever recorded in Magic the Gathering out of this event and for those of you who enjoy Grixis gameplay on my channel this is as good as it will get. I had insane games and I'm very excited to share them to you guys throughout these next few days and hopefully you are up for this sort of content it's not the standard you know deck tech into gameplay for one specific deck and then we move on it's kind of like more focused on that. Uh, but hopefully you guys are a fan of it and for upcoming content uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of people really upset at standard as of late so I'd like to ask you guys what it is you want to see in the upcoming weeks when it comes to videos because I do want to get back on the daily uploads but I'm a little bit you know torn because standard is uh, MTG arena standard at least there's more hatred towards the format than there's ever been and it's because of the recent ban of field of the dead uh it turns out akko and nisa have become even more and more and even more prevalent over these past you know few days and it seems like it's not going to change so uh people are already demanding wizards to impose a uh, ban like an urgent ban on uh the likes of akko and potentially nisa and uh, this has really tempted the experience for or the enjoyment of standard for many. And uh, I'm the reason why I'm, I'm saying all this is because I want to ask if you guys want me to continue to push standard content these next few weeks and uh, try to you know showcase all sorts of you know different deck lists and see if we can try to break the meta and beat these top tier decks in a way. Or if you guys want me to uh, start doing more brawl for as long as it's available. Because I do want to get into Brawl, I do want to learn Brawl, and a lot of people have been saying really good things about the format, and I definitely want to provide some content for it myself. Or if you guys want a mix, you know, if you want to mix as well, let me know too uh, in the comment section down below. And uh, last but not least, a, a big thank you to all of you who uh, showed some support on the community tabs, you know, the, the, uh, the big chunks of text that I've been posting lately. Uh, I posted yesterday that I was, no, a couple of days ago, no, yesterday, yesterday, that I was uh, competing in the tournament in day two, and uh, I received a lot of really cool support there, and I just want to, you know, give a shout out to you guys for, for uh, following me and for enabling me to do what, what I do and for being so supportive throughout the entire tournament. It really, it gave me vigor, it gave me life, and uh, it, it was pretty cool to see, and uh, I'll, I'll end the sappiness right there. Thank you guys for watching my content, hopefully you enjoy some good old Grixis against the world. And let me know what you guys think about the games. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with more of this. As uh, we'll venture into day two content, which got even more intense. So that was all day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys around. Um, is it, isn't it? this guy uh, Wyatt Darby? This is Wyatt Darby, right? I'm going to keep this in. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's here, guys. The Esper stacking is here. This is our worst matchup. If it's true, uh, we're we're in for a rough one. Oh, never mind. Okay, okay, no no Esper stacks. Thank God. Okay, pro probably Soltai. Soltai. All right. I'm gonna destroy that. Hey, 
And uh, I'm going to hope I don't get mana screwed. We get the three lander, but uh, we are reliant on drawing cards here. We need a land. We uh, need a land really bad. Okay, then we do have it. I need another land here. I need to draw into a land really bad. I see you don't share my vision. That makes sense. This is problematic. That was a, a pretty bad draw for us. You could have another Noxious Grasp though. Dueling you will be excellent research. I think you will find my notes helpful. I have learned all I can here. Master here. Let's reduce the battle to shambles. Oh. You will wipe your bloodline. Let your 
weak minds crumble. The cold borax will resonate throughout the multiverse. Yeah. Defeat. What a drag. Oh! There we go. Is your damnation. We definitely need um I, I need to take a look at at because I, I know I know Cro that's Crokey's list. That's Crokey's deck. What what does his sideboard have? Uh, he has uh, Mystical Disputes, he has two Veil of Summers. <clears throat> Disdainful Stroke. He's got a bunch of counter spells, which he's definitely bringing in. I wanna bring in Legion's End. Wait, what? What's happening? Why, why? Okay, that, that was like a, a visual bug happening. Okay. Um, let's take out one Chandra. No, no, Chandra's actually very key. Jesus, dude, come on. This visual bug is killing me right now. Oh my god, dude. I I I that that's really throwing me off. I would have liked to add in uh duresses, but because I'm on the draw now, I feel like playing more defensively is important. I love to keep this hand, but the fact that I'm lacking I'm lacking blue mana. I can drop a Fae of Wishes. It gives me a play to go for, though. I'm, I'm going to drop the, the bull list because I can always search for it with Fae of Wishes. Naturally, we got to watch out for uh, counter spells now. He has a Veil of Summer. He has a Veil of Summer. The magic that dances around you. Welcome to the feast. I'm I'm open. I'm definitely open to counter spells here. I still have to go for the fires of invention next turn. Let's see. Oh dear. Because he's not attacking with this, that means he must have. He must have uh, a source of counter here. He must have like mystical dispute or something. A hundred percent. What do I want him to counter? This. No, he has Veil of Summer.
He has Veil of Summer. He had Veil on turn one, Gouda. Like, uh, he, the, the, the thing, like, I, he had an instant on turn one with the forest. Unfortunately, I don't see how I can navigate around that. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, this, is, this is too much. This is too much pressure. I'm, I'm just, I'm getting overwhelmed here by, by these two. Yeah, see, there's the veil. I can't target anything with Enter the God Eternals, and uh, on to game three we go. Okay, l l let me think here. Um, we definitely need the duresses. Oh my god, this bug is driving me crazy, dude. Fuck MTG Arena, seriously. Fuck MTG Arena. A cesspool of bugs all over the place, man. What the fuck, man? I could take out one Fires of Invention. I do think I want to main deck one Elder, yeah. I'm gonna go with this. I can always search for uh, Fires later down the line. Ah, you're killing me with this hand. You're killing me with this. This is not a keep. I can't. I can't justify this. This will have to do. He's got the veil again, or the mystical dispute. It could be one of the two. Choking out lies. One bite, and all your cares are gone. This means he cannot counter the fires of invention now, unless he has a disdainful stroke. Cause still, you still have a mystical dispute. Welcome to the feast.
That's rough. Dear. Mortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. I will return one day. <laughs> you have no weakness I can I, I fucked exploit. up. I should have killed this, Akko. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking there. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. I, I fucked up. I fucked up. I should have killed Akko. I done goofed. I I I I lost my train of thought there for a second. God damn it. Put on your true shape. Harness the elements. That almost hurt. No, aggressive scribe for Elder Spell doesn't do it because it can counter. Oh! May we meet again? Or not? He can counter whatever I play this turn. Oh shit, yes. What do I do here? I know I know it lands in an elemental. Do I just bury the land?
king, wild, and soft. It's not poison. Trust me. Well, I'm fresh out of fuel. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh! Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! <sighs> Enjoy that mystical dispute, bitch! We can do this, boys. Oh! I'm just gonna trade that with that. Hope it's not too hot for you. I will return. My intellect is without limit. Put him on the clock, baby. Hey, hey! Hey, baby! There we go. Would you recommend your Grixis for a regional? There is a qualifier for a tournament I can make. Grixis Fire or Mardu Knights. What do you think? I would always make uh, Grixis Fire. Over Mardu Knights. I'm not an aggro player. Um... Would I recommend Grixis? Uh, it works for me. It's... Okay, I, I, I need to focus. But basically, I, I like Grixis. Uh, it's the deck that I play the most uh, ever since I made it at the beginning. Ever since I made this deck at the beginning of the... Of the uh, expansion release. It's been my favorite competitive deck. And uh, I have a lot of experience with it. So I feel comfortable playing it. And I, th I think uh, it's very important to keep that in mind. Like... You have you have to be very comfortable with your deck. This is a keeper. We have um we have we have a three lander with murder Rider on curve, and uh, we can get going with this. We're obviously gonna lead off with the steam vents, and go on from there. Uh, fire decks struggle really hard against uh, against counter magic. Yes, yes they do. Uh, navigating around the mystical dispute was super key for us. Uh, that's how we won the third game against Wyatt. Let's go ahead and drop another Blood Crypt. Or another Shockland. And before Esper? I, I really hope so. Esper is like the one matchup. There's a Swamp. Esper is uh, a matchup that I really don't want to see. Okay, cast the Lockwing. Still could be Esper. Okay. That's actually pretty fine. I like this Soot. It's not mono black because he's playing Fabled Passage, so could this be Rakdos Aristocrats? Can't be mono black. He has Fabled Passage. Rakdos.
We have to deal with the cat in the oven. He can bring back the gutter bones potentially. That kind of hurts. That uh, that self mill kind of hurts. But I don't I don't want to mill him because if I mill him, I give him more stuff in the graveyard that he can uh, capitalize on. But that that self mill, I, I would have loved to draw into that fires next turn, honestly. I could always murder a Shroud of the Priest, but I, I think Liliana is the play. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. <laughs> we could see a murderous rider happen. We don't have Cry of the Carnarium in our lineup. If he destroys this, I'm a little bit stuck because, um, honestly, that self-mill really hurt me. I haven't been able to draw into uh, my key cards. I I can go for Enter the God Eternals just to keep myself alive, but then again, I have to play around the Witch's Oven because it can deny my, my life gain. Um, I really have to bank on him not having something like a murderous rider for my Liliana because I need to keep drawing cards off of her. As you probably can tell, there's a lot of I needs in this a uh, particular scenario I'm in. Why didn't you take casualties of war? Because I don't have green mana. I've 
I am flooding. I'm flooding really badly. That's a good draw, though. We're close to being able to go for the ultimate. And that could be game winning. Yeah, he's getting desperate. Hey! All right. All right, Liliana for the win. Despite those poor draws, we got it. Okay, Legion Zen, get in there. Elder Spell out. Noxious Grasp out. I would uh, go ahead and add in another Enter, God, Enter the God Eternals. And just go with this. I don't want to... I don't really think I need Dress. Ego? No, I don't want to main deck Ego. That's just too far-fetched. As you guys can see, like, we, we were... Like, he had the cat from the get-go, but... It, it, it didn't, it, it was a, a nuisance, but it's not, it wasn't really game winning against this. I think this is fine. Keeper. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a keeper. Dress. Dress. I wonder what he'll take. That's dangerous. I need to create the Fae of Wishes as a blocker here. Fires of Invention down. Okay. Alright, we stopped him. We stopped him. I repeat, we stopped him. Do this, boys. Meditate and prepare. Yes. Oh, there we go. Fuck yeah. 